All right, gentlemen, I'm going to open the next room. All right, who touched the button? Go ahead and blow me up into the main. Yeah, let's please. please. And I'm oh, digging no. this uh, snake skeleton here, by the way. What snake skeleton? Uh, in the next room, gentlemen, you can see that there is a the fallen baron sits upon his throne, and in his hand is a dull uh, blue gem. In between him is a small trunk, and what looks to be some sort of a necromancer, and he has summoned three creatures that you have only heard of in legend before. Uh, let me switch my GM screen here. Sorry. They are dark, dark hearts, not black hearts. That's Marvel property. Dark hearts. Demons. <laughs> You'll also notice the back of the wall lean against the spine is an artifact that one of you recognizes. I'll allow you to come back to it later on to decide what that artifact is. There's a table with a rolled up note on the top of it. Uh, and the necromancer seems to have just summoned these three dark hearts. What are you all doing? Who enters the room first? Uh, I'll roll up in there. Okay. <laughs> the bloodlusty goblin moves into the room. Oh, that was us. No, nope. That was. Oh, me. sorry, sorry. <laughs> but he is still bloodlusty, so there's yeah. still that going for him. <laughs> My flaming head just lights up the place, you know. All right, you've spent one action just to move. You have five more dice remaining. Now, I'm going to warn you, the Dark Heart Demons have five actions, and they roll 2d6 for each one of their attacks. Ooh. Feisty, feisty. What happens if I roll up on the uh, Necromancer here? Uh, yeah, so there is no blocking in this game. So once you move, you're in a scrum, and that's where the fight is going to start. So you're able to vault over that table and just get right at him. Yep, that's what I'm all about there. I'm going after the dude who summoned him. Um, as you approach this creature, it utters your name and you're faulted for just a moment as you wonder why this thing knows who you are. Go ahead and roll to attack. All right, let's do a precise strike again. Nice. So that'll be, okay, how many dice do you wish to commit? Let's do three. That is two hits. Um, the Necro Cancer only has one defense. Oh my God. Uh, it's able to block, so it takes one hit. It has four luck, so it has three luck remaining. Shouldn't I have got two damage for that, though? Uh, I'm sorry, you are correct. That is double damage. It has two luck remaining. Look, so I, I didn't write the rules, okay? Um, hey, hey, I'm just making sure I'm... <laughs> no, <keeping> no, <laughs> please, call me out by, by all means, absolutely. Okay, now I gotta decide. Do I want to do another roof? Yeah, let's do another precise strike. Do it. Take him down. Do it. Get and it. I'm going to go with... Uh, I should have two remaining die. Yes, sir, you do. Sorry, I moved it off screen there. You can see it. Yep, you got two dice remaining. All right, let's do both. Okay. Uh, one hit. That is double damage. <laughs> How oh, anticlimactic! Um, he is, he is slain. However, on his dying breath, he utters something. He utters something from your past. He knows someone from your family. Who is it? Who has he threatened with his dying breath? My sister. Where is your sister currently? in another castle <laughs> <laughs> you are suddenly concerned why this necromancer is knows your sister's name and has threatened her as if it is a dying curse all right it is the villain's turn and because you killed my necromancer right away i uh i can't summon my cool oh man they're all tangled up here hold on my cool shadow dogs that I was gonna bring out. He gets the he got to summon these things, but um 
he's dead and you killed him and i'll get to use those toys so thanks thanks for not letting me play with my toys Oz. <laughs> real cool man toy blocked <laughs> yeah real cool all right so uh one of the one of the uh uh dark hearts immediately turns to you and is going to attack so you have uh, no dice no dice for you it's going to roll it's 2d6 it spent one to attack that's two hits you're able to block one you take one damage it's going to attack again nothing and it's gonna that's it that completes the turn so you take one damage all right heroes who's going next hey, well, I, 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 i'll charge in there okay and uh i want to uh uh, uh rear up on the table and uh and flung it into uh what's his name's uh face there ah instead you smash the table oh <laughs> all right you're able to... it wasn't a very sturdy design <laughs> <laughs> Looks like old bone and stone, but it's just styrofoam. All right, uh, you moved to the room, losing one, so you're able to throw the table at him for nothing. You have two more dice. What are you doing? Oh, uh, uh, right. Uh, uh, so, uh, 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 what's the grit there? If you reach a zero luck roll durability dice, sir, uh, if two hits, or is that after a, an attack, I think? Uh, yes, that allows you to basically rebound. So yeah, the UK okay. because so, you're a uh, tank. I'll spend. I'll spend the. I'll spend the free. Uh, I'll spend the. Uh, the defend. The free defend there. Okay. Uh, so you're gonna cast. You're gonna use those towards defense. Then is that what you're saying? Yes. Okay. All right. Um, it is the enemy's turn. He's he's coming at you, bro. <laughs> uh, so he has a free defense or attack. He rolls trash. He's gonna take one more attack. And he rolls nothing, all all blanks. All blanks. That was a waste of my turn. Okay, uh heroes, it is I, your <laughs> I thought he was I thought he was made of sterner stuff. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he did not come. All talk, nothing. Oops. All right, hero's turn. Can I can... go ahead? I was gonna say, can I still get my free kill from the ruthless ability? Uh or a free attack? I kind of missed it, and I just yep. realized looking this at my card. This is an absolutely tutorial game. It's a friendly game. You absolutely can. I'm totally spinning around and jacking that dude who hit me in the back like a little peach. <laughs> read, read for the chat what uh, Ruthless is. So, Ruthless, after killing a target, you may make another attack for free. And that's a 1d6. It's a miss. I'm sorry. That's okay. At least I'm facing the right way now, and I feel better. <laughs> All right, who is next? I, I'll go. Go ahead. I'll run in. I'll slide under Aferius's legs, and I'll uh, with my rapid strike. So it's a free move and two d six attack. Nice. Um, for I'll take that attack at the um, the the dark heart. Nope, on the other side. Nope. I'm gonna I'm gonna run in and slide under their legs. Oh, I see. I see. I see. I missed the narrative. Sorry. Oh, you should, see, should be rooming you, up with it. Yeah, you <laughs> confirm he is a male. Okay, and then you get through. <laughs> no eyes are on the prize. I was focused on the enemy targets. <laughs> Jesse, I'm just right. picturing you with the shield now, using it like a little surfboard. For the floor, like, <laughs> I played a halfling rogue for eight years. This is my jam right here. <laughs> uh, you get one hit, uh, and the dark heart rolls one defense. Uh, it does not block. It takes one damage. It has one more hit remaining. You have four more dice. Wait, I lost my. I lost count when I rolled it. Three more yep. dice, correct? Uh, four, because that was the four. That was you have to start with six. six yep. Attack. yep, 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 yep. You're good. Four so dice. I'm gonna take my targeted strike two d six plus agility agility dice, which is plus two. Yes, sir. Um, two. And I'm gonna attack uh, Grumpy Butt Baron. So I'm like running in, sliding under, he's, slicing the he one is with. He's dead. He's dead. Oh, he's dead. Oh, yes, yes, right. yes. Sorry, that wasn't clear. He is quite dead. Well, then I will. I'll, I'll use that targeted strike on the um, the dark heart. Then nice. You roll three. It is impossible for it to block. Um, you've you've been describing a lot of finishing blows. I want instead for you to describe a peaceful moment when you're not murdering someone. What do you do? <laughs> what does Thistlethorn do when he's just calm and having a day off? 
he's 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 somewhere outside the walls of Silverhorn Castle um, with a book that's not research. It's uh, you know for for entertainment um, it's or enjoyment. No, because <laughs> the fuzz monks are dying out. There's no erotica for the fuzz monks. Um, what? He's just he's just enjoying you know whether it be like poems or epic adventures or something to to you know feed his imagination from all the um, the research and stuff he's doing uh, keeping track of the antiquities in the castle. It's the mental break. Nice. It's it, it's it's Frodo reading the book under the tree at the beginning I, of Lord yes. of the Rings. Perfect. Oz, I feel oh, like you, I haven't got, there, you haven't gotten enough descriptive opportunities. So uh, as this thing hits the floor, <laughs> as this dead dark heart hits the floor, what happens to its body? And the, these were summoned demons? Um, you Is assume you... so, but you're not really smart in that whole magic stuff. You really just like to slice and chop things. It, 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 uh, it kind of goes like one of those, those like, bubbles that's like filled with gas so it kind of like pops Ugh. like there's like a weird like viscous tension to its body and then it just kind of like dissipates and just leaves this awful sulfur rotten Funk. forest smell yeah nice dig it um okay so i guess it's one more villain wow this is really going i was like when they get to the second room i'm sure it'll be much tougher for them dead 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 all right um <laughs> And last. I'm gonna hold the last. Uh, uh, yep. I have two more dice. I'm gonna you have hold two more. Them. I'm gonna hold them in defense. Okay, that's that's gonna be a stack of five there. You're gonna be rolling. Good grief! All right. Um, <laughs> you know what? I don't feel like this is this is a pretty big target. I don't know why more people aren't attacking it. You know, it's got uh, it's got some good uh, shanks and meat on there. So he's gonna go roll up, and he's gonna take a slice at old Furious there. That's three hits, but. You reserve two of your dice, correct, sir? Indeed, I pull my sword okay. out of my back there. Uh, you're also a tank, which means you have a natural two to your defense. So by the way, for everyone who's not, for you guys who are like, oh, I've only got three, uh, the tank has three armor and four luck. So he's stacked up with seven so, here. So, so. so, so let that back fellow, I, I kick with my back leg there. It's a hoop <laughs> to the gut. And the other fellow, I reach for my sword and I come down. Like a bit of an axe on a on a chopping block there, and I strike uh, strike down top of his head. And you're and able he to peels block. In half, like and a you're bit able of sliced to. Cheese. Well, he's attacking you, so really it's more of a blocking action there. And you are able to block all of his attacks. Um, he's gonna. Uh, that's it. That's the end of their turns. Good grief, Ragnar! You step into the room. Uh, and you see only two more threats remaining here. Uh, your friends don't really seem to have even broken a sweat. <laughs> I said thanks, guys. Um, this is what I said there. <laughs> so I will choose what the Put heck. the hammer down. Yeah, I'll do a smash on one of those because I like smash. Yeah. Um, you nice to put down the hammer. So <laughs> smash is 3d6. Uh, you have four dice here, and then you're going to add your strength, which is two. So you're rolling 5d6 against this thing. Good lord, that's two, three hits. It's going to roll one. Uh, go ahead and describe your finishing blow. Uh, I bring down my warhammer on his head, and his whole entire body just explodes in that viscous tar. Maggots flying everywhere. Oh my god. <laughs> Shout Gallagher. Dude, and he screams. It, he screams with a... with with a voice that only a damned soul would understand. And he you completely couldn't, You paints. couldn't wait till I moved out of the room. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he was there. I was it's, helping. <laughs> it's uh, definitely a horse of a different oh, color God. now. He's, you, you, yes. you, you, owe, you, owe, you owe me I, a pound to use I the shell so we get back into town. I will, I will, I will, I will, I will take a, a, I will take you to a river. We'll give you a scrub down. You're going to be okay. Oh, I promise. You're going to, you're going to brush his flanks. <laughs> We're gonna we're gonna frolic in the water like Rocky and Apollo at the end of this. I promise. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Top of the rounds. There's one threat left. Which one of the heroes are gonna put this poor, lonely, dark? He's really. I mean, honestly, he's the victim here, as I see it. So, can we can we just all I, 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 turn I on him at the growl. same time? 
I hear a growl, everybody. I start to spin around to see him starting to rise up in his chair. I thrust around with my arrow, and I pull out one of the piercing arrows just for good measure. All right, and that is going to be... And I cry, and now I will send you back whence thou camest. Yeah, uh, describe your finishing blow. So after uh, defending there, I thrust around, and I say, And now for you, you foul beast, I will send you back from where thou camest. And I'm twisting around there, with one of those new uh, armor rounds, you know, and then I fly. <laughs> oh, man. And it uh, goes straight into his chest. I'm going to be honest. And so the other I side. didn't think <laughs> the necromance would fall that quick because there's no blocking. So he's able to stack. When it's his turn, he can summon something and the dark demons get to take a free action. So really, <laughs> really bank in that action economy and... Uh, yeah, that uh, that did good job, excellent job screwing my game up. Um, so <laughs> as you look in the room now, uh, there is a treasure chest in the back of the room, and it is filled with. Let's bring this up. Oh, looty loot! Some loot. You actually get uh, what looks to be five silver pieces and four gold coins. So that is your party's loot there. Um, have you identified this artifact at the back of the room? I think that should jog one of uh, Eldor's memories. Okay. What is this artifact and why is it so disheartening that it is in this dead baron's tower? It is the Eldor blade from the netherworld. That and is just, where he was getting his power from. And this is not something the Baron should have in his possession. Um, as you all recoup and look around, uh, other than being splattered in Demon Iker, uh, you're actually doing pretty well. And Tell, just pull up the camera one more time here as we are about to conclude this game. The gem falls from his hands. A portal opens up. Steps. Oh. Oh, I love it. Nice. And that's where we're going to leave the game tonight. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yes. oh, my God. This was so much freaking fun. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>